How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. It's week 7 of 2023, let's talk about what's going on in the Horizon 5 community this week. In terms of Twitter news, it's been fairly quiet, no new announcements, no new bug fixes or updates or anything like that. We have the photo and livery contest winners, they do loads of contests over on Twitter if they interest you. And the Forza Horizon 5 racing experience at the Peterson Museum is closing on February the 19th. If you are unaware, there's sort of an area at this museum that's dedicated to Horizon 5. You get to play the game alongside some cars that are actually in the game, as you can see on screen. A few screenshots of what's at the museum. But that is closing on February the 19th as Horizon 5 retweeted. Um, in terms of everything news related, there's not really anything going on this week other than these couple of tweets and stuff like that. The Suggestions Hub is getting a lot more busier lately. I feel like the more I mention the Suggestions Hub, the more it does get used. So I'm going to keep pushing that. It's working. Let's keep going. But this gives me the opportunity to talk about another topic I've been wanting to talk about on a video, and that's the future of Horizon 5. More specifically, what's going to happen now lots of the staff have left? What updates are we getting this year? What's confirmed? And is there going to be a third expansion? Last year, in about April, so about 10 months ago, I did a video pre sort of predicting what the future updates were going to be from Series 8 to Series 14. Well, we're now in Series 17 or 18, I think, so we're way past that. And looking back at it, we got a couple of them right, and we got a couple of the possible themes accurate-ish, but we didn't nail them. However, we know a lot more information about how Horizon 5 and Playroom Games do the updates now, and I believe that we can probably predict accurately quite a lot of the updates that are going to come out this year for Horizon 5. So these are the updates that we know of at the moment. We've got Series 15, which just finished, along with the Series 16 that just finished. We're currently in Series 17 for Japanese Automotive, and Horizon Wilds Takeover is next. We don't know what Series 19, 20, all the way up to 27 are going to be. These are the updates that will come out this year. I believe Series 27 is about December. If you're enjoying this video, guys, make sure to subscribe. You won't miss any of the latest Horizon 5 news, leaks, or anything like that. I'd much appreciate it. Well, if we have a look at what updates came out last year in the same month, we can see a similar pattern. The Christmas update obviously happened last year as well, so that's the same. Um, Fortathon and Japanese Automotive, a little bit different, but the Horizon Wilds Takeover update that's next is obviously very similar to the update we had last March, Horizon Rush Takeover. So there's a bit of similarity there, which makes me wonder if any of the other updates coming this year are going to be similar to last year's alternative. We can see here all of the updates we had last year on the corresponding month. So Series 19 will be the same month that Horizon Customs came out last year. You get what I'm trying to say. So if Playground Games are going to follow this pattern of you know, repeating updates and tweaking them, maybe some of these will return. Maybe Cinco de Mayo will return in May, just again. Um, German Automotive Excellence might be substituted for American Automotive Excellence, just as an example. We did kind of get that this month with Japanese Automotive. They've, they're following similar themes. So we can use that as a guide to maybe see what updates are coming. It wouldn't surprise me if the Cinco de Mayo update comes again for Series 20. Wouldn't surprise me. The main way to figure out what is coming this year is to have a look at what updates are basically confirmed because they've been leaked from the files and we haven't got them yet. We've got the Illuminati update, the Donut Media Part 2, Expansion 2 and the Drag Racing update. These are four things that have all either been leaked, confirmed or leaked or confirmed basically that we haven't got yet. Now we know that Horizon 5 is going to continue into next year, but the chances of these updates coming out next year are very slim. It's a long time away. So it's probably safe to presume that these four leaked updates are going to come somewhere within Series 19 to Series 27. I will be very surprised if that's not the case. I could be wrong. Now, Expansion 2 is due rather soon, so it wouldn't surprise me if Expansion 2 is Series 19, Series 20, Series 21 at the latest. It's probably going to have an update dedicated to it, just like Hot Wheels. Donut Media Part 2 will also have an update dedicated to it, just like last year. The Drag Racing update is a relatively big one because it's got a Horizon story. That will have its own update. And the Eliminator Duos... I want to talk a little bit more about. 
The Eliminati update is basically the Eliminator game mode having the game mode duos added to it. Now I want to talk about this very quickly because I think this Eliminati update might be classed as a third expansion. Let me explain why. Back in Forza Horizon 4, we got two expansions. We got, I can't even remember now, Fortune Island and Lego. Now, not many people were aware of this, but we were told back in Horizon 4 that the intentions were to give us a third expansion or more than two expansions. This is the quote right here, and it clearly says, our intent is to do more than that this time. Now, in the end, we didn't get a third expansion for Horizon 4. But what did we get? We got the Eliminator. Now, the Eliminator was a very big update and addition at the time. I think that's when the Toyota Super returned as well. That was a big update, and some might argue that that was an expansion to the game, a huge new game mode. Now, Forza Horizon 5 is probably going to have a longer lifespan than Horizon 4. It makes sense. To me, it makes sense that there is a third expansion for Horizon 5, or at least a third massive update. And I think this Illuminati update that was sort of leaked last year is probably big enough to be its own huge update, possibly an expansion. Not an expansion, we're not going to have to pay for it, but worthy of that name. So I think the Illuminati update will come later in the year. I think it's going to have to be pushed back a little bit to fill the gaps where there's no expansions or anything. Now, from what we know about this Illuminati update is it sounds like a big one. It sounds like more than just a game mode. There's new cars, props, there's new type of cars, there's just a lot of stuff, which is another reason why I think it's going to be classed as an expansion just like the Eliminator was probably classed as the third expansion back in Horizon 4. So for some very quick fun predictions, I think Series 19 is going to be the second expansion, Series 20, Cinco de Mayo, Series 21, let's go with American Automotive Excellence, Series 22, Donut Media Part 2, Series 23, Drag Racing Update, Series 24, I don't know, we'll be surprised, Series 25, again, not sure, Series 26, Illuminati update, series 27, Christmas update. Those are my predictions. They're educated guesses based on the information we have, what we know is coming, and what Playground Games have done in the past. What are your predictions? One very quick last topic to talk about. You may remember Mike Brown and lots of other people from Playground Games left last month and this has caused concerns about the future of Horizon 5. Is it going to go downhill now that these people have left? Well, I need to remind you again, we're probably not going to see a difference. The next year of Horizon 5 is going to have lots of updates and they're probably already set in stone. Playground Games have already decided what the next 12 plus updates are going to be. These people leaving have no change to that. It's not going to affect anything. Just because they've left doesn't mean we're now going to get what we want. It also doesn't mean that it's going to go downhill. So don't worry about it. It's a shame to see these people leave. As you can see, lots of them were quite high up. Content director, executive producer, creative director. It's a shame to see them leave, but don't worry about it affecting Horizon 5. Whatever's set in stone is already set in stone. So, the future of Horizon 5's looking alright. We know what updates are coming. We've still got expansions to look forward to and a bunch of more free updates. Leave a like if you've enjoyed, everyone. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you all later.